Hi guys, welcome to our first ever token gated private YouTube tutorial series. This will be about Uniswap, PancakeSwap, and QuickSwap V3 on Ethereum, Arbitrum, Polygon, Polygon CK, and Binance Smart Chain. We're gonna focus on, we can also go into other ones if you want to. We're gonna find out in this video how to pair, how to find the best pairs for your uh, farming, right? Um, and we're going to look at how to find high and low yield, how to pr protect yourself from the range on V3, because we're going to go into it in detail, but essentially if you go out of range, you're not going to earn rewards and you're going to have to split your pair, which is going to have to incur some tax, right? So how to protect from that not happening. And finally, how to predict the APR. In the next video, we're going to talk about airdrop farming on Polygon ZK um, and how to find high volume pairs from their past performance. So this is all token gated, only NFT holders will be able to see this video. You can of course share it to people if you want to, but then it kind of destroys their whole idea of being a private club, right? So if people do want to see this, they should have to join the club, feed the eternal engine, which will then support us in the future, right? Uh, I've used these same strategies I'm going to talk about today to grow the eternal engine, which will be a um, payment, you know, a way of paying our holders in passive income. So, you know, so this one here, for example, let me find it. Uh, yeah, so this one here, liquidity of $12,900 sitting in ETH and wrapped Bitcoin, earning passive income for the team daily. So this, uh, claim, the fees, this would be about four or five days of fees, I think. And yeah, and we will be compounding that back into the pair. Getting up until the launch of our miners, which are coming, we're just in the final testing phases. Here we are here with the miner getting ready to, to launch this one and another one and another one and another one. Each of these have fees. The fees go into the eternal engine. Eventually the eternal engine will be turned on and the yield will start being compounded and will start to be airdropped to the team. Yeah, the team being NFT holders. So that's how we work it. Now let's get into the beginning. Yeah, straight from the start, how to pair up. We're gonna be using Uniswap, but, and we're gonna be doing it on Polygon Network because the fees are lower. And there's pretty good volume on all the pairs, right? But you can also use the same logic for PancakeSwap or QuickSwap, right? But we just, we're going to go first on Uniswap because there are a plethora of awesome tools about Uniswap, which PancakeSwap doesn't yet have that I know of, right? So let's get into it. Looking at this, this is an exactly example of a V3 liquidity NFT. Now, the way that Uniswap works, uniswap.org, you know, we have this swap page where you can buy tokens on Polygon. You have a list of tokens and how they're doing, right, today. For example, Polygon up 0.9% today, right? We have NFTs. This is not to do with their V3. This is to do with their NFT marketplace. I generally ignore this section. <laughs> and we have the pool section. Pools is where you will find your V3 NFTs, which are positions that you've opened inside of Uniswap Marketplace, which is kind of like you're predicting the price range of two tokens. So I have here wrapped ETH and Bitcoin, right? They're gonna go up and down in price in correlation to each other. As that happens, I need to try and keep myself in range. As long as I'm in range, I will be earning the fees for people who are swapping daily between ETH and Bitcoin, right? Now, I chose ETH and Bitcoin for a couple of reasons. I think it's a great pair right now to farm with because one, ETH and Bitcoin are pretty well correlated in price. Both are number one and number two in the crypto market respectively. And the APR that can be offered is pretty competitive, not blow your mind, crazy APR, but pretty good. If you wanted to make a new position, then say you're starting from scratch, it would look like this, okay? We would come to new position. This is to create a new NFT. And you need to decide which two um, assets you're going to pair up in liquidity to then earn yield with. Okay, so you firstly need to think about a couple questions. Which pairs on this is Polygon Uniswap, right? So which pairs on Polygon Uniswap would have the most volume? Higher volume for the pairs, the more APR, right? Which, um, how's the market looking? Are we in a bullish or a bearish sentiment at the moment? If it was bullish, you know, I would take Matic, maybe put Matic with ETH, right? If it was bearish, I would take Matic, put Matic with USDC. 
if you're not that confident on Matic, of course, because Matic has a lot of FUD recently with the SEC and Coinbase. Is it a security? These kind of questions are bringing a lot of FUD to Matic. So you might think, right, I don't want to use Matic. But consider that we're on Polygon, right? Most swaps on Polygon Uniswap are involving Matic. The volume will probably be highest. How do you find volume? Let's go back to pools. Okay, we have here top pools. You want to click on this. It will find you the top volume pools for the day, the week, the month, things like this. Because again, as I said, higher volume, higher fees, you'll earn more. So you want to come here and just go straight that, click on volume over 24 hours, volume over seven days, right? Seven day volume, we'll see. Okay, so the highest volume these days on Matic are quite interesting, okay? We have USDC with wrapped teeth coming in at number one at a fee or slippage of 0.05%. Okay, so you might think there, okay, USDC and wrapped teeth, volume of 137 million, 24 volt hour volume of 7 million, TVL of 10 million, right? Um, that's pretty good. Or Matic and USD, C also 0.05%, and that is running at 110 thousands. Both of these are great. If you're more uh, safer, you're more bullish, then I would go for USDC and wrapped teeth. But that means then if ETH starts to go on a tear and pumps 20% overnight, you're only going to get 10% of that pump reflected in your pool. Whereas if you were in the third one, which is the one that I chose, almost, 0.05%, um, I didn't choose that, we'll explain that pretty soon also. So rep, BTC and ETH. Um, th that means that if ETH pumps, surely Bitcoin would also follow, right? Or vice versa. So because of that, that's why I chose these this pair for myself for pool number three, because I'm bullish on the crypto market overall. Volume of this is 35 million, a lot less, but going quite well for me. So I would generally stick in the top three with these um, is my advice for you. Now notice my pair is not 0.05, I put 0.3%. Now this is where you have to be very careful. Um, as I said, I put a range for my, um, my NFT, right? My minimum is 15 ETH, 15.6 ETH per Bitcoin, and maximum is 16.3 ETH per Bitcoin. The moment it's sitting right bang in the middle of that at 15.8. Perfect, right? It's been like this for two weeks. I pretty much hacked it, right? Um, I'm going to show you how we have some tools to do this. So let's make a new one. Go to pools. We go to new position. How about we try make this um, ETH and USDC, right? ETH, USDC, right? I don't have any USDC in this account, um, but I'm just gonna show you the example, right? So when we were looking at pools there, it said the best uh, one, which was uh, was being used most was 0.05%, right? I would also um, recommend going for this for the start because it means that if you do go out of range, either up or down, like in your prediction of the ETH price, right? in correlation to the dollar that means or usdc coin right that means that if you do need to split you're going to have to pay a 0.05 percent fee to split right which is not too bad but if you choose the 0.3 you will earn more yield you'll get a higher yield you'll earn more rewards but you will have to pay 0.03 percent to pair and again have to pay to split right so that is the risk there of course then if you're going to go to one percent this would be for a uh, low cap alts okay this is usually 0 0.05 is best for novices if you're new to this i would recommend this the moment i'm sitting in 0 0.3 percent with my uh, pair because i've through trial and error and about a year of playing around in this i'm confident in my ranges which have set okay so that's how it works. So let's get back there. New position, USDC, wrap teeth, 0.5%. Then you need to start thinking, okay, how am I going to choose my range? Now you could come out, zoom out a little bit. You need to think, all right, so today uh, ETH, the moment is $1,919, right? Now Ethereum, of course, has been up and down quite crazily. If we come to a quick chart on ETH. 
Now take an 80-day chart. We've been between $1,200 and $2,000. Almost $1,000, 50% swing there, right? Um, so it's, over the last six months, we've had a 50% swing in the value of ETH compared to the dollar. So then you might think, okay, then that means I'm going to put a 50% swing on that. But the more that you let your range widen, the less fees you're going to get. The tighter you can bring your range in, that means the higher fees you're going to make. So it's financially beneficial for anyone who's using V3 to find the tight, sweet spot for a range and earn the APR on it. Now, unfortunately, on Uniswap, it doesn't show you the predicted APR while you're playing around with range. You know, So here I'm saying, um, for example, right? Let's zoom out. It's a bit jittery, this. So I'd say um, it's going to go up no more than 5%, right? And it's going to go no lower than 5%, roughly, right? If I said about that, then, you know, my rewards could be pretty good, but I'm not really sure <laughs> because it doesn't show me the numbers, right? So you're kind of shooting in the dark here. We can fix that. There are sites which show you the predicted APR with the different fees. So we're going to check that out very soon. Now, when you are going to supply the liquidity, because I've gone 5% up, 5% down, that means it's going to be a 50-50 liquidity um, adding, right? But the more that I move this uh, up or this closer, you know, the, the more the difference between these two percentages of lower or higher token value um, of USDC to ETH will mean a different amount of cryptos that you need to put into each side of the pair, right? It's not 50-50 liquidity. You can choose differently for that. So that's if you think, for example, I don't think ETH's going down anytime soon. You could say, right, I'm going to keep a tight range of 1%, but I think it's going to go up loads, so I can put up this up to 10%, right? Um, but 10% is quite high, which means you wouldn't be getting the best rewards. You could go full range and go super safe. That would mean it could go anytime up or down, and you're just going to hold that pair and earn the minimum fees. But I like to try and um, optimize this. So how do we find out the fees that... We're going to get how do we find our aprs so luckily for you i've already been updating this sheet right here so this is the v3 apr checker which i've made i'm at the moment i'm manually um putting this in let me zoom in on that uh, so i've gone through three chains arbitrum polygon and ethereum and i've found through depending on the fees slippage fees that we want to have on our tokens what kind of daily percentage of uh what kind of dollar how much how many sorry how many dollars can we make every day per one thousand dollars of liquidity added so for example if you went to polygon and used eth with btc the fee of 0.3 percent that i have for every thousand dollar you're going to make roughly 4.68 dollars on that this was from last week i'm going to update it before i put this video out just so you can get the newest numbers that would be a yearly yield of one thousand seven hundred dollars on your $1,000, which is pretty damn good, and your APR would be 171% APR. That's what that is. So I've put this through. It will be updated for you to check, linked in the description, and I'll try update it about once every week. Hopefully we can automate it. Where did I pull this information from then? Did I just pull this out my arse? No, I did not. Coming to this great site called uniswap.fish. So what we want to do is come to uniswap.fish. This is an aggregator. It finds all of the awesome pairs, the nice highest pumping APRs for Uniswap V3 right now, every day updated. Very, very great. So we come to, you can either have two choices. You can come to Ethereum, Network, Polygon, Optimism, Celo, Arbitrum, Binance, Smart Chain, all for Uniswap, right? Then choose the pairs that you want to have a look at, right? Just see what kind of, so we'll come again to Polygon, right? Um, we were looking at ETH and USDC. We were looking at 0.5%, 0.05% pool. That's right. So we'll click on that. It shows you 96% of people select that, you know, safe farming. Um, then we click on that. This is going to bring up a very similar kind of um, dashboard, but this gives you a lot more information. So as we were saying before, we want to put our range. So range is here, right? So say we want minimum range of uh, 1,800, okay? The price being 1,900 right now. And I'm pretty bullish, so I'd say, okay, we're going to go all the way up to 2,100, okay? That's going to give me one 
dollar 22 for every thousand dollars that i put into this right yeah because i've deposited here if i wanted to put ten thousand dollars i make twelve dollars a day on that range but we'll stick at one thousand just to make it easy to understand so now we think okay that's not that great i want to make more money so then you can start bringing this range closer now the red line here is the current price of ethereum now because we have this USDC and ETH correlation chart, we can start to really think about this, right? So this is over one month of prices on ETH. So I would, using really brief technical analysis, we can also pull up an even more detailed chart after we talked about this, right? I would then confidently think that Ethereum is not gonna be breaking the $2,000 mark anytime soon. So you know, I could go a little bit above 2050, okay? And then looking at the lowest, you could be safe as houses and think, okay, that's probably the local low. I don't think it this seems like it has a lot of support and resistance about around about 1,700. Then you could predictably think, right, so I'm going to hold around in this range. Let's see what we got. We got $1 a day. So we're going to have to put in more juice into that. And then if we did put in 10,000, we'd be making $10, $10 a day with compound interest. Think how fast that would grow now though you think okay i'm more bullish on this i'm going to put a tighter range we're going to get to this level of resistance right here 1800 suddenly you're making now 15 dollars so you've 50 percent added to your amount there you think okay actually i don't think it's going to go very high i don't think it's going to break um above the two thousand dollar mark so we're just going to put it right on two thousand that means now we've doubled that from the initial uh, slippage there and now we're getting two dollars a day for our one thousand dollars so this is the best way to see it the best way to do it now if the crypto market did have some kind of awful collapse that would then mean you are out of range when you go out of range all of your capital would be moved into ethereum if it did go down so everything would be in ethereum your usdc would all be swapped in ethereum and if the ethereum price did continue to climb down you would be stuck with 100 percent ethereum that's the risk then when you decide to split your pair you'll only get ethereum back and you'll have to pay that 0.05% in um, fees, right? But then let's have a look one more time at what happens if we make this with the 0.3% fee, right? Instead. So we come the same way, Polygon. Again, we go Ethereum, we go USDC, ooh, USDC, and we decide this time, instead, let's go with the 0.3% okay now we start bringing our range closer to what it was before that line of resistance here we put it up to the 2000 mark and oh no we were this tight range right now you can see for your thousand dollars you're making even more than you were before for ten thousand dollars that is so now your range has gone up your price has gone up to three dollars a day of passive income but as soon as you break above or below this level that you put really tight that means that you're going to have to unpair and pay a 0.3% fee as opposed to 0.05. This is how I understand how Uniswap works. Now, the other thing you can do on this great site is you can start to find the highest yield. How to find the highest yield on Uniswap in very quick ways. We come here to top pools. This is an awesome feature. Um, it's so useful, especially if you want to kind of move between pools, paying the tax for splitting your pairs, but also just eating you know, eating up all the fees. Um, you know, for example, when Pepe was really, really booming over on Ethereum, you could have made a Uniswap V3 position with Pepe and just taken all of those trading fees and just made awesome yield. Of course, if you'd have held it up until today, you probably would have lost because that gets like crazy uh, downward price movement, right? So they define them between safe, low risk and high risk. And we want to just come, you know, to the first thing you want to see is estimated fees over 24 hours and we'll get the biggest ones. So this says USDC and ETH with a 1% uh, fee or slippage fee, right? So for pairing and breaking, that's pretty high. It's gonna get you uh, $73 for a day for every $1,000 that you're putting in. That's insane, right? That is so crazy. That's good. Uh, weekly of 51%. APR, monthly 219% APR, yearly of 2,668% APR. But how how tight can you put that to earn yourself your 1%? Uh, 
um, to earn yourself your high APR without that going out of range. So that is really high risk. Um, also, we have other ones. See, there's be a lot of altcoins here. Matic and Sand, for example. Uh, Sand is very volatile. Matic and ETH down here, right? 1%, 14, uh, $14 a day. So you could go very high slippage and earn yourself great, great um, APR. But I don't go that far with it because you could really damage yourself if you keep going out of range. The more you have to split your pairs, the less you're going to win at this game. So you're going to see a lot of tokens which you don't necessarily know or use. So I would generally stay away from volatile tokens for using v3 liquidity it's just not worth it in the long run is my opinion of it right if it's something that you're hodling for example uh uni uniswap and matic right if you have a bunch of uniswap and polygon you have a bunch of matic why not just pair them up put them in a really wide range and just earn the fees you know you don't care if the price goes up or down same with link right matic and link pair them up just earn the fees good ways to go um so if we come and then we can also choose what we want to have right we want to only have Come here, risk, and we can go, okay, we only want low risk ones. Okay, then it's going to bring up different ones. So this would be the one I was showing you before, Matic with ETH, getting yourself just under a dollar a day for your um, $1,000 you put in. That's with the 0.05%. Now, if we come down and find um, the 3% one, probably we'll find it. Yeah, here, Bitcoin and ETH, 0.05, 0.3, yeah. It's going to get you 80 cents as well. So at the moment, these are paying exactly the same. I'm not sure why. I guess there's just not as much volume today on the 0.3% as there was. Because, for example, this is uh, 80 cents today, but on my sheet from last week that I made was Bitcoin with ETH was uh, $4, right? So definitely the volume of swapping between Bitcoin and ETH has really calmed down since that week ago, right? So that's also something to be very aware of, that the volume is lower. Um, so this is how you just, you can go through this yourself, spend a lot of time research, just trying to find the best pairs for the tokens you already have or the ones you want to grow. This USDC and ETH looks brilliant though. <laughs> so it's not a guarantee that this uh, volume would keep up forever. Of course, um, that's because Ethereum is doing quite well in the short term market, right? We come here and we can see a large pump up there, almost breaking the 2000, but then consolidation once again. We can also check the correlation between two assets on CoinGecko to get a really good long chart on them, okay? So the fastest way that I've found to do this is just straight into Google, it's gonna show you that there. And then we can come to other ones, which are gonna show you, for example, TradingView will come up number one. So why not just click on that and have a look at what they have. You can then see a really long, drawn out uh, chart of the price history between Ethereum and Bitcoin. Then coming to C, we then have the price of Ethereum dipping towards uh, against the price of Bitcoin. But then in the recent time, at the very end there, you've seen a nice little pump up of Ethereum doing better than the price of Bitcoin. But the general trend over the last six months has been that Bitcoin is getting more valuable and Ethereum is getting less valuable inside their correlation. So that would mean logically when you're coming to Uniswap to make your pair with ETH and USDC or ETH and Bitcoin, that would be that ETH is generally not performing as well as Bitcoin. So therefore you could put a higher range positive for Bitcoin. So as, as I said before, I've already gone through Arbitrum, Polygon, and Ethereum on this sheet to try and find some great pairs that I generally use. Some interesting ones would be a Zen on Ethereum with a daily uh, dollar per day of $9, which is pretty great. Phantom also on Ethereum has a $13 or 475% APY, pairing it with Ethereum. Ethereum and Phantom is something I'm quite interested in. Arbitrum Network has really high volume, so it's also a great one to choose. If you're not into Polygon, you could go into Arbitrum, also lower fees and great volume, so you can check that one out as well. Now, if you're going to use BSC, I would not suggest using Uniswap. I would suggest going over to PancakeSwap and using that one. So let's just end this first tutorial by checking out some things about PancakeSwap. Okay, the number one thing I want to mention is that now PancakeSwap is also live now on Polygon's ZK EVM. ZK EVM. Also, QuickSwap is live on there as well. And that is going to be the next video we're going to talk about is using these platforms 
on Polygon's ZK EVM because there is a massive rumored airdrop for interacting with that blockchain. So that's why we, why not just start pairing up liquidity and farming over there with PancakeSwap and QuickSwap to get yourself great yield. Now, the good thing about PancakeSwap V3 compared to Uniswap is, of course, that while you're using the V3 liquidity, you're also farming Cake Token at the same time. This earns you double yield. This is also why QuickSwap is great too. You can earn the Quick Token by doing that. Whereas generally on Uniswap, you're only earning fees, but the fees usually are bigger because there's more volume. But on the Binance Smart Chain, the volume is higher than on Uniswap. So it works the same way. You would come to trade, then liquidity, where you would then have to add liquidity to make an NFT. Essentially, PancakeSwap forked Uniswap V3 and made their own small changes to it. So for example, I'll show you this pair here. This is another pair I have of ETH and Bitcoin. Some good things about PancakeSwap is it can immediately show you your APR um, when you're making your pair. So you can fix your range and decide on your APR very uh, intuitively right on this dashboard. Whereas on Uniswap, you're kind of shooting in the dark a lot. So I've got 26 grand in here. Um, earning at the moment 18% APR. This sometimes goes up to 40, sometimes it's 20, usually it's 30, right? Uh, I've unclaimed fees here of, 30, of $67. I would claim them, then add them back into my pair, just growing exponentially this pair. Um, and that's pretty much it. My range is quite tight as well, 15.2 to 16.6. And the percentage I put was 0.25 fee tier. This is working perfectly. I haven't had to break this um, for a long time. So I'm very happy with the choices I've made on this pair. It's just earning me, this is 67, uh, it earns me over over $100 a week I'm earning in this pool with PancakeSwap. And that's not even um, taking into consideration the cake which I'm earning. Because once you have made your liquidity pair V3, then you come to earn, come to farms, you can then take that pair and put it in to farm and stake it in here to earn yourself an additional 3.2%, which has earned me another $27 of cake token while I've just been farming away with my liquidity pair. So that's also a really great, um, PancakeSwap does work really well in the Binance Smart Chain, but I like to spread my risk. I like to go to different uh, blockchains to get different volume because we they're not every blockchain always has high volume. It is a narrative that moves around. So if you're set up in different places with different kind of tokens, then you're going to always find yourself hot and always earning in one place. Okay, so that's me going to wrap up today's video because we're at that 30 minute mark. I think it's just enough information for today. I have been Crypto Mischief. I hope you have enjoyed this. Please get into the Telegram chat dial if you have any questions for me or if I've said anything that's wrong. I'll link everything in the description so you can check out Uniswap Fish. You can check out Uniswap and PancakeSwap. I'm sure you've used that before. Um, and another one that we'll be touching on later in the next video is also APY Vision, which is a great way to check your Ethereum and Arbitrum um, past history and future um, predictions for your Uniswap V3 uh, pools as well. So we'll be checking that in the next video. And of course, we'll be checking out QuickSwap over on ZKEVM because they have some really nice additions to V3 farming, which are good. Like they're nice um, technological advancements to what Uniswap has done, which is great to see. Cool. I've been Crypto Mischief. Peace. Don't get wrecked.